Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, and today we're going to be talking about the JP News. The brand new news, the newest of news. I'm just stalling because I need to click over here. Anyway, today we uh, got the next piece of what will be coming to uh, Brave Exvius. It should also be noted that uh, recently there was a notice in Brave Exvius. The content is more than likely probably going to be start really, really getting affected by coronavirus. So enjoy the content while you can. Uh, it's not a guarantee or anything, but with the emergency shutdowns that are going on in, uh, I think it is about seven prefectures, um, uh, it is a little worrying for the people living there. Hopefully everyone is doing okay and uh, that content won't be too affected, but in the future, you may want to just get ready for the idea that we're not, we're gonna have some sparse updates. And this could also affect global down the line too. So yeah, it is something worth noting. But in the meantime, we're going to have maintenance on April 10th from for five hours. What will be added is the uh, new story event and units as well as uh, gifts from management and a Google Play Points bonus thingy. Okay, so yeah, who are we getting this month? Well, this month is another story character, and uh, Cleome is her name. Well, I gotta admit, they are being creative with the naming. I uh, okay. All right, so Cleome, as well as two other characters, will be joining on her on their banner. Now, if uh, the Kind of, I'm expecting these to be, again, really good DPS options because ever since when the boss rush mode was shown off last month and had like the most powerful DPS ever, uh, DPS has kind of been catching up. Obviously, Dark Bahamut Fina is one of the queens or kings or whatever you want to say of DPS on the JP side, and Kuja, CG Kuja, has been another top for DPS as well. Secret of Mana characters. By the way, I didn't talk about the Secret of Mana characters. Quick note on them. They're good. They're probably not worth breaking the bank over. And we'll have to see if this new one. So what is CG Cleome? Well, she is a physical attacker. She is going to have a limit burst with AoE, probable death. I don't know about you guys, but I like my death to be certain and quick. Anyway, uh, and or if that doesn't work, then defense ignoring damage. I'm, I'm never really crazy about the whole death thing. I guess it works in Arena. Maybe she's just a cleaver in Arena. TMR is a material 20% attack plus machine killer and undead killer. Pretty low amount of attack, so I'm guessing that this is going to be a super high um, uh, amount of killers on this materia. Blanked on that for a second. And uh, Super TMR will be a two-handed katana, 181 attack with uh, physical, machine, and undead killer. So already you can tell exactly what type of kit she's going to be. She's going to be very specialized in physical DPS against machines and undead. Okay, all right, I think it'll probably be good. The question is how good is her DPS and what is the... Um, the range here because story characters have been consistently really good on banners. CG Pwn as well as uh, CG Daisy were both really really good units so I'm expecting this one to be a really really good unit too and um hmm dark haired long haired samurai girl I might try on this banner anyway not spending money just whatever resources I have she is Fire, Ice, and Dark physical attack abilities uh, that are interesting because they're attacked with a auto nuke skill on the following turn. So kind of a slash first and then sheath the sword. <sighs> Alright, okay. Anyway, uh, she has defense ignoring damage. She has skills that have Dark and Peril as well as the same versions for Fire and Ice because of course she has AoE limit burst fill up. She has AoE attack and magic break cure. And this is kind of interesting. With that, there's Limit Burst Fill as well as Self Damage Mods up. But she also has AoE Stop Cure and AoE Charm Cure. So I'm 
curious if she's going to be stopping Charm Immune, because if that's the case, this is a DPS that can provide some support too and some nuking. Be really interesting. Uh, and then in her 7 stars, she has Attack Up, Dark and Peril on a single target, Mods Up, cast some abilities on the following turn that give her uh, other Imperils as well as Limit Burst Damage Up. So she's a CG character, she's a main character. I'm expecting her to be really powerful. I hope. Uh, I can get her. Yeah, that's the end of that. Anyway, next up is, I want to say that we're going to be ending up calling her Airdry. Or a a Adri? Adri? So, mm, I don't know. Anyway, she is a support and physical attacker. Limit burst AoE damage. Limit burst fill for all allies except self. And self limit burst fill rate up. So she gives away her limit burst, does some damage and um, then kind of gives herself a boost. TMR is a two-handed harp with 164 attack, 10 defense, 44 magic, 12 spirit, and 10% extra attack. And yes, this is going to be a musical-based DPS character. The first harp DPS. I really think that, it, for a five-star at least, we've never seen a physical DPS unit that uses an instrument. So... Through dual hand. Anyway, Super DMR is material, 20% HP, MP, 40% attack, defense, spirit, and self limit burst fill right up and auto limit. Gonna be interesting to see where her mods lie because obviously a lot of her stuff seems to support a lot of defense too. Hmm. Anyway, Wind and Undead Killer, a true dual hand attacker using instruments plus buffs. Uh, maybe Elfim 2.0. I'm sure there's another, there's other units that have been Elfum 2.0, so 3.0, 4.0, wherever we're at. Uh, single damage, remove attack break on allies, uh, AoE wind imbue, as well as wind resist up and limit burst fill, single target damage allows for some extra abilities. She can give uh, physical and magical undead killer buffs, uh, damage mitigation, AoE limit burst fill, has skills for ice as well, and an AoE Wind Imperil, AoE All Stats Up, and Wind Elemental Damage Up. So, if you didn't get CG Pwn, this character might actually be really interesting, at least for the Wind Element. Possibly for the Ice Element, too. But uh, gives her some range, gives her some options. It'll be interesting to see where she is. Also, musical character. Cool. And the last will be a 4-star character. Scrolling down, here we are. Uh, debuff support, uh, limit versus AoE, full break, and all allies, all ailments up. I make make the make the full break 90%. So people got want to use a four star for once. I don't know. Um, TMR is a materia, all ailment resist when equipped with instruments, defense and 30 uh, defense and spirit 30% up. So really, for she's just kind of TMR fodder for. <laughs> the better five star. Uh, it should also be said that uh, this one, uh, Airdry, Airdin, Airdan, anyway, she is going to, maybe Andy, I don't know. She is going to, ah, where did I, where did my brain go? Uh, she is not a fast unit, so she will be UOCable. Uh, CG Cleome is a fast based character, or a fast character. So, uh, best of luck for people like me who are going to be trying. There's also going to be a 10 plus 1 banner that is a little special because normally on the JP side it's just the you know the regular banner and you go with whatever you get but uh, here we're getting a 10% rainbow banner so good news for you if we're gonna throw a multi. CG Cleome has the high has high rates along with the other new 5 star. The 4 star is up has high 4.75 and CG, Kalmia, Daisy, Pwn, and Nereen will also be on the banner showing, um, I think, increased rates as well, too. So 10%, higher chance of rainbows, your results may vary. But of course, this banner works like all the other banners where you're going to end up with... Um, sorry. You're going to end up with uh, the, the tickets that you can use to try and get a guaranteed character if you want to spend an absolute buttload of lapis. Of course, there will be the event with uh, upgradable equipment and whatnot, as well as uh, 
extra ways to get some more lapis if you do that by trying out the characters. If you want CG Cleome's Prism, you're going to have to pull at least one time on a multi-banner to get a, a ticket so you can get her Prism. And there will also be the limited quest Dark Dragon. It will go till the end of the month. It is a limited high difficulty quest. Dark Bahamut, lots of elemental counters, uses Dark Mega Flare, bring Dragon Killer. It's like a bird to me. Anyway, uh, for beating it, you can stage one will probably be the easy, will be the easier one that gives away a UOC, 300 lapis, and some other rewards. And stage two will give two more UOCs, a five star X to get 500 lapis. How difficult will it be? Maybe 999 difficulty, just to continue on that trend. And last but not least, we are going to see two characters getting some enhancements. We are going to see both Sabin and Edgar for all you Final Fantasy VI fans. Sabin, I don't know. It would be really hard for him, to, I think, to catch up on DPS. He's just so far behind, and the best this seems to be locked behind the Secret of Mana event. Uh, King Figaro... However, has a pretty good chance if they give him some really good on-demand buffs. So we'll see. We'll see whether or not he makes a any kind of noteworthy stuff happen. So yes. Anyway, that is going to be the update. I'm pretty excited because I haven't been overly interested in a ton of the story characters in season three, but Cleo Samurai. I mean, I didn't get it in the uh, War of the Visions update, so I'm going to hope for it here. Anyway, are you excited for this new banner? Are you going to pass on this banner? Keep in mind that my bet still for the end of the month is Final Fantasy IX Raid with a brand shiny new 5-star Garnet and Steiner. If we're really lucky, this is... Okay, I'm going to make my outlandish pr just prediction here. All right, it's going to be 5-star Garnet with Beatrix as a combined unit, and then Steiner is going to be Steiner combined with, of course, BB. So that is the dream, and you should dream big. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Take care.